hi guys welcome and welcome back to my channel so today's video is a special video because I'm gonna be showcasing Cameroonian owned makeup products not only makeup products like almost everything about this video is gonna be from a Cameroonian brand you know so the whole intention of this video is to showcase Cameroonian brands and what our Cameroonian ladies out here are doing so you as you can see I already did my uh, my foundation I already applied my foundation because of course I don't know any Cameroonian owned foundation line also I won't focus on the things that are not Cameroonian owned so I want to try to focus more on the products that are from Cameroonian brands starting from my head that is from the wig that I'm gonna wear at the end of this video to my dress and all that so yeah by the way if you are not subscribed to this channel please subscribe um, share the video and leave your comments and your thoughts on what you think so it's just gonna be kind of a chit chat because I'll be showing you the products and I'll be talking to you about the products on how you can get them and how I got them first of all most of these products let me just start doing my makeup and then I'll be talking to you about the products I already primed my eyes using my Elegal concealer but I'll be using this setting powder from a Cameroonian owned brand and it's the K&F translucent powder the brand's name is K&F Beauty and trust me setting powders I'm always very very skeptical about them but ever since I I got this powder I have been using it like every day when I go to work I usually don't apply makeup on my face I just use a loose powder to make everything matte and then I do just my brows and this is what I have been using every day and trust me guys it has it's very soft it does not give you flashback when you take a picture that's very important of course and it comes in different shades you have um, I think my shade is um, banana my shade is banana but i think it has other shades i think for a darker complexion and for lighter complexion so yeah and then for my eyeshadow palette i'll be using this eyeshadow this eyeshadow palette still from the same brand these are the colors that are in this um uh, palette so one thing you have to know is all of the shades are almost shimmer like they are shimmery shades all of them are shimmery shades and I think this one right here this one which is gonna serve as a beautiful transition color is almost metallic it has it has specks of shimmer inside so I'm gonna use this one as a transition color and I'm really trying to create a look using just this palette like this single palette I want to try to create a, a look from this single palette so let's just go in and see okay this is actually the first time I'm trying this this color and as you can see the pigmentation is it's not bad it's really not bad it's good it's a good transition color and I am so annoyed right now why have I not been using this color so this brand actually the CEO of this brand is based in Germany and during my last vacation I met this beautiful lady my god coco she is the most she is the realest person on earth you know and she gave me a couple of things from her entire brand like she also does eyelashes which you're gonna see she has an eyeshadow palette and i was supposed to be using she just released brushes recently and i was i'm waiting for my package to come but because of some technical faults if i may say <laughs> I am still waiting for the package. I actually placed an order for the entire set. So I'm still waiting for the order to come. But I just couldn't wait with this video because I feel like it's something that I have to do and I have to put out here. So um, I think the color is good. I am actually happy with the color pay of it's pigmented and it looks better in person than on camera. I don't know if you guys are feeling it, but I think it looks much more better in person than on camera so the next color i'll go in with maybe i'll just try to do a, a basic smoky eye the next color i'll go in with is this gold shade here i feel like it's it's gonna be so pigmented as you can see i already dipped in my brush 
into that color before so i'll go in with a flat brush and because i want um a good color pay off i'm gonna wet my brush just to see i'm really trying to create a very basic look so i'll go in with that color right now and i'll go in into my inner corner okay guys okay this is i'm actually shook And then just to smoke this look, like to make it smoky, just a little bit, I'll go in with this dark shade. It's a matte, it's not matte, it's like the first shade that I used. And let me just bring it close, this one right here. It's matte, but it has specks of glitter inside, so I feel like I can use it at my outer V. And I'm just blending it into the shimmer shade. You guys know, of course, when it comes to black matte eyeshadow colors, it's always it's always a gamble. It's not it's not easy to blend black shadows. You always have to take your time. And voila, here we go with our smoky eye. So what I'm gonna do is I don't have any color right here that I can use to like set my brow bone from this palette, but I'm gonna take a risk and try this color here. And then just to warm up the crease a little bit, I'm going in with the same brush and using this this same transition color. And for my lashes today, of course, from the same brand, basically. This whole eye look has been from the same brand and that is very very impressive. I'm so proud. I don't even want to start. I have two lashes here from K and F Beauty. And uh, both of them are mink lashes. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, what did I just do? And um, this is another set of lashes from the same brand. Of course I wore both of them already because I'm a sucker for lashes I can't wait and yeah I just had to right now um, since I want something really dramatic I'm going to go in with a more dramatic lash and this one is just perfect for the look so what I'm gonna do is I'm quickly gonna apply my lashes off-camera and also my concealer I'm gonna highlight my face and then I come back later for the setting to, for you guys to see how the setting powder works and I'll contour my face too and we'll continue the video later uh -huh. so as you can see I applied my lashes and they are so dramatic and I'm living for the drama and I also applied my concealer and I want to quickly set the highlighted areas of my face so I'll be going in with my banana setting powder from the K&F Beauty oh my god I'm so proud you guys don't even know, you can't even understand how proud I am. This setting powder is so dark girl friendly, you can't even believe it. I usually don't bake and I usually don't apply this much 
of uh, setting powder on my face but today because I just want to be extra I'm gonna do the reverse contour I'm just I'm just going in guys I'm going in I'm baking I'm just doing the most I'm extra like that so right now I'm gonna dust off the excess powder on my face and then I'll try I'll go back to my under eyes so going back to my under eyes I'm gonna set my under eyes first of all I will use this transition color just to bring some warmth okay I need to change this brush and then I'll go in with this shade that I used to set I used to smoke my eyes just to make it darker you guys already know the drill my almighty Skylar Glam I'm gonna use Skylar Glam now she has 10 liquid lipsticks and trust me guys these liquid lipsticks are to die for they are the bomb I live for them I live for this color right here this nude is just perfect it works with lip gloss on top of it it works on its own it's it's just the best I don't want to overemphasize you guys are gonna see so like you like I always do I try to mix in two colors and um, for today's video I'm gonna be using these two right here because I don't know for some reason I'm just enjoying my bright colors so this one is called Shanti and this one is called Rush R this is going to go as a lip liner and this is going to highlight my middle uh, lips so if you are new to this channel then check out my videos on the review that I did on these lipsticks For my hair today, <laughs> I'm going to be wearing my latest, one of my latest babies from Classy and Fabulous Hair. So I'm just quickly going to put this on and then I think I'll spray some water and conditioner on it. And then you guys are going to see my conclusion on all of these products. So see you in a bit. So this is the end of the video guys. What do you think? Hold on. What do you think of this video? Um, I'm going to give you guys my honest opinion about all these products. I'm going to tell you guys the ones that were given to me or that were sent to me and the ones that I actually bought with my money. But all in all, you saw the video, you saw the products and how they worked out. I tried my best as much as possible to put everything out there for you guys to see so you can make um, your own judgments first things first from my hair to my dress to my face everything here comes from a Cameroonian owned brand so I am so proud these ladies deserve some accolades from God himself like yes okay let's go to the hair let's start with the hair actually this hair was sent to me by classy and fabulous hair she is the one who does almost all my wigs and with this hair uh, this is actually my gift this is this is like my birthday gift and i wanted something different i already have a longer version of this hair so i'm gonna try to insert a picture i think i have a picture i'm gonna insert a picture of that hair maybe up here for you guys to see so i wanted a, a shorter version an afro and this is this is just what i wanted you know at first it was a struggle to like adjust it on my hair but now that I know how to do it it's it's easier and I think it's it's giving me the Diana Rose vibe mm? what do you guys think and then let's go to the eyeshadow palette the eyelashes and the setting powder which is from the K and F Beauty this is the shadow palette right here and um, I showed you guys everything from the beginning the look I created I used to just this palette to create this look right here I hope you like it the shadows were really pigmented um, for my primer I used just a concealer to prime my eyes so yeah 
and then let's go to the lipstick of course hmm? you guys already know the drill my Skylar Glam, my ride or die, like for real. Skylar Glam is my ride or die. This is not even because she sent me some of her lipsticks. It's just because they are good. Genuinely, they are good. Anybody that has placed an order on that website will testify to you. Actually, I, when she launched her first collection, I bought everything. And then the second collection of lipsticks, she sent everything to me. The entire collection, she sent it to me. For free and that was so gracious of her i appreciate that so much so do well to check out her website she also um sells uh sun uh, sunshades yes eyeglasses like yeah those big ones you know those stylish ones yes you'll find every and anything on that website trust me you have earrings you have uh slides you have sunshades you have you know so many things she's doing it you know she's she's a boss lady and then the lashes guys for some reason i just live for the big dramatic lashes nowadays i love them i just love these particular lashes if you are not very very comfortable with lashes you cannot pull these lashes like they are really big and like this like out there and i love them they are perfect and then let's go to the dress if you follow me on instagram and snapchat you must have noticed that i've been posting a lot of pictures where I wear bandage dresses. Even my recent posts, uh, my birthday dress or my birthday dresses were all bandage dresses. And that is, that's like my thing nowadays. Like I just love bandage dresses. I feel like I'm talking too much. This dress also was from, is from a Cameroonian uh, lady based in France, Paris, Beige on Instagram, PB Logs Fashion. I'm going to leave everything down below so you guys can follow them. Um, and uh, if, Unfortunately, only the lipstick, only Skylar Glam has a website for now. The other, the other um, brands are still building, building their websites. So if you want more information about them, you just get into contact with them either on Snapchat or on Instagram and you place your order on any of these products if you like any of them. So yeah, I don't want to talk too much. This conclusion, the conclusion part has been longer than the entire video. So yes, thank you guys so much for watching. Let's keep supporting each other. Let's just keep 237 out there on the map. And these girls, I applaud you for what you are doing. Keep doing your thing and God bless you all. Thank you. Stay pretty, stay slim and always smile. See you in my next video and bye guys.